Hi there, it's Rob. Just a quick video on connecting up Capture to MagicQ on the same machine and the same PC. So I've already got Capture started here and I have the show file that I'm going to be using. Um, in this case, it's the big gig file. Uh, I'm going to start up MagicQ and then I'm going to do some setup on the MagicQ first and then we'll see how it goes. And I'm just going to run through this um, to help uh, remind you of how uh, var various things work. So the first thing that needs to happen with MagicQ itself is we need to set the IP address on the desk. Um, this is the, the IP address on the MagicQ is not uh, the same as um, it's, it's not always the same in the software as it is on the computer. It doesn't track the computer. So the first thing we have to do is to set the network actually within the software to be the same as the computer that I'm working on at the moment. We do that by going into setup, view settings, and then we go along and look for network. Um, in this case, you can see I have the loopback address set um, and the subnet for that, which is so that means that the the information is going to go back to this computer. And as we're using the uh, capture on the same computer, that's fine. Um, the other option we have here is this 192.168. This is the address of my um, of my actual Mac, the Mac we're looking at at the moment. Um, I can pick either of these two. Um, so let's just for the sake of argument, let's set it to the address of the Mac. The other thing we want to check is we can go down to send applications on this PC and make sure it's set to yes. Um, this is If this is set to yes, MagicQ sends any information it's sending out on the network also to the loopback. So that has the same effect as setting it to 127.0.0.1. Um, so that's cool. Um, and there's, it's funny, the capture just give me a notification there, it's because we've already made a start, but I want, I want to ignore that for a second. So the address is set to the, uh, the address, we have applications sent to this PC. We also want to make sure that the universes are enabled, so by default maybe the universes may be turned off. Um, so we're using three universes on the show. Um, you can set them by clicking on them individually. On the desk I would normally just highlight them with my finger and then hit enter and it would change it. Um, and then the other setting we want to change is by default, normally it will say in the visualizer, it will probably start saying uh, Magic Viz. Um, we want to do Capture Same PC, which is what we want to choose. Um, so that's Capture Remote, Capture Same PC. Um, and that's all cool. The other thing I might often do, and if we have any problems, is to restart the visualizer link. So in order to do that in this screen, if I hold down Shift, you can see on the top here it says Reset Visual, and it says Restarted Visualizer Link. Once I've done that, I should be ready then to um, go over to Capture and see uh, what I've got. Um, we also have the console link set, so it said you can turn the console link on and off. That is, the console link is um, an integration between MagicQ and Capture, which means you can do it, for, use it for various things, um, including you can use it to um, obviously pull the patch across. So you can set that console link on, and you can see immediately that. The uh, CAMSYS MagicQ uh, universes 1, 2, and 3 are already set. If, if they still say auto on them, the other thing you can do is you can also just disable all your network adapters. So in this case, I would turn my Wi-Fi off. I'm not plugged into any um, Ethernet. I just have the Wi-Fi on. So I would turn my Wi-Fi off, and sometimes that will then bring the, uh, bring the information coming from MagicQ and make sure it's actually coming um, to capture and not and capture isn't looking somewhere else for that information. I think um, when it's set to capture set to auto um, find the network information and sometimes it looks for it on the Wi-Fi adapter when obviously we're not it's not coming from the Wi-Fi adapter. So sometimes if we turn off the net um, we will find that we have um, we, we find it suddenly works. Other than that, we can go back through, if we have an issue, we can't work out what's going on, we can go back to MagicQ and check our settings. Um, we could check, for instance, that this, uh, the universe is enabled and all that sort of thing. Um, we could reset the visualizer by holding shift. Um, it's basically a question of sometimes it, it works and sometimes it doesn't, you have to play around with it a bit. The main thing I find is that if you just turn the network off, so in this case turning the Wi-Fi off, um, it normally comes good. You shouldn't need to have to mess around with the settings too much in the connectivity options in, cam in Capture. Um, you can, if you go to the cog and go to connectivity, um, you'll see stuff here. And the thing that we are using when we're using the visualizer uh, connection, Capture, um, same PC, is the one called CITP. Um, and that's currently set to automatic. There is other settings. That's the setting of the Wi-Fi card and various things. So, so, but you shouldn't need to go here and do that. If you do make changes here, it will tell you you'll have to restart capture. So, just to close out this video, um, I'm just going to try and pull the patch in. Um, so, if we have the uh, CamSys uh, MagicQ uh, set, uh, the the 
uh, pro project console link set and working we should be able to try and pull the patch in and we'll select in the patch window we'll select the viz patch capture patch and you see it pulls the patch in so with any luck now we should have um, let's just take our R2s because we can see them locate and you see we have control over our R2s I hope that's been useful I'll see you next time